thought about how he ushers in his presidency, whether he's going to be signing a lot of executive orders to undo Barack Obama's executive orders. Uh, what do you think? What would you like to see? Well, I would love to see a focus on regulatory relief. In other words, the administration can, at the uh, direction of the president, look at things like the fiduciary role and other, the overtime role, the joint employer mandate. These are things that were passed administratively that can be reversed. There will be a number of executive orders, too many to count, uh, that will President Trump will take a look at immediately. I think we're going to have a very aggressive 100 days. I think we'll see Obamacare done. I think tax reform will be on the edge of the 100-day window, perhaps in the second 100-day window. We'll have a serious conversation about creating access to capital. Dodd-Frank and the regulatory environment for banks today are so onerous that small business owners like I used to be cannot find access to capital, no matter your credit, to start a new business, to grow jobs in this country. So you'll see a very focus, uh, a strong focus on an America-first economy, and that will be led by our new president and Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, the Senator, we're, we're learning that not only uh, did private uh, initiatives raise the most money for an inauguration uh, for Donald Trump, the dwarfs the, the money's raised uh, by those uh, working for Barack Obama in both his first and second inaugurals combined, but now we're getting from John Roberts, our chief White House correspondent, that the Trump transition uh, came under budget as well. Their allocation was apparently for about six million. They're returning 20 percent of that, 1.2 million to the Treasury. What do you think of that? Well.